Hey guys, and welcome to my next reaction to Stranger Things. So before I start this reaction, a couple logistics and updates. Uh, the first thing is much like the last episode, this reaction will be split into two parts. I'm going to watch half of the episode right now in this video um, and give thoughts at the end of it and treat it kind of like it's a two-parter. And then I am going to do the same with the second part. Um, there's a lot going on today with stuff that <laughs> I need to record and, and all of that. Um, so please be patient. Uh, I believe that part two will hopefully be out relatively soon, uh, but don't be surprised if it's not out until tomorrow. I will hopefully be able to give some sort of update in the comment section or something like that so that you guys know when to look out for it. But I just really feel the need to say this. These videos take time, especially if you want all of the parts that you were really excited to see be included in all of that. Like, please be patient. Um, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. Um, okay, the second thing that I wanted to talk about, which I mentioned at the end of my last video for Stranger Things, uh, for my reaction to episode seven, my best friend is coming to visit this weekend. So I'm recording this and hopefully you guys will get uh, the reactions to episode eight, <laughs> this episode, um, ASAP. But I am not going to be recording uh, episode nine until the beginning of next week. And it will, as soon as it's recorded, be uploaded for uh, Patreon first for the early access, um, and it will be uploaded on YouTube next Friday. So finale, for my channel will be next Friday. I know that some of you guys think that I should put uh, my life on hold and not spend time with my best friend who's traveling to visit me. Um, I'm aware that there are some of you out there that believe that so that you can get my reaction to episode nine, but that's, that's how it's going to be. So um, yeah. That's that. All right. Um, and the last thing that I wanted to say at the beginning of this intro was, you know, I said uh, for the first half of this season, um, or I guess it's not a half, but the first part of this season, I wasn't going into the comment section um, because I know uh, that a lot of you can't help yourself when it comes to spoilers. Um, but once I finished up episode seven, I was able to go in and I cannot express even remotely how wonderful you all made me feel. I truly, uh, every single nice comment and supportive comment and just, it really, it made me feel about my channel a way that I haven't felt in a, in a very, very long time. The support was amazing. You guys are wonderful people, and I'm just so happy to be able to um, provide you guys with, with some source of entertainment with my videos. And um, really, I, I truly, I can't put into words what it all meant to me, all of the support and lovely comments and, and all of that. Um, I've been feeling very burnt out. I am on my last my last little leg of energy. I really, truly am. I'm trying to finish up Stranger Things and the boys, and then uh, I'm gonna have to see what I what I need to do. But I am. Um, those comments, all of the love and all of that, give me the energy to kind of um, go on, and um, even when I'm feeling pretty exhausted by all of this recording and editing and everything like that. So I just wanted to say thank you, and uh, yeah. Long intro, sorry. Let's get into it. See? There's nothing to be afraid of. Is there, Nancy? <gasps> Why don't you take a seat? Oh. Oh, I'll take a seat. Whatever you do. Oh, no. Oh, God. Tell the living <gasps> every 
Oh god, guys! Guys, I'm not ready! This is amazing. Did you paint this? It, yeah, yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, Elle asked me to, she commissioned to see how you're leading us here? You're guiding the whole party, it inspiring us. That, that's what you do. And I know it's sort of on the nose, but, but that's what holds this whole party together, hard. Because, I mean, without hard, we all fall apart. Even Elle, especially Elle. It's just she's so different from other people. And when you're when you're different, sometimes you feel like a mistake. Oh well. And that gives her the courage to fight on. So yeah, Elle needs you, Mike, and she always will. <laughs> oh yeah. Well. Yeah. Well. Oh, well, it's okay, it's okay. Look at you, oh my god. You're so, oh my god! Well. Did I not say I knew that fucking painting would get me? Oh, I just kept saying it and I knew it. I knew it. Oh, fuck. Oh, oh my god, guys. <laughs> you awaken something else. A doorway to another world. I always thought that Henry was out there, hiding in the darkness. 
I didn't know for sure, not beyond a feeling, until now. As far as we know, they're, they're all safe. But I'm uh -huh. not gonna lie to you, Eleven. You gonna try to find them? There are so many monsters. An army. And they were coming into Hawkins. He showed me my mom. Holly. Mike. Oh, okay, God. but he's just trying to scare you, Nance. Right? I mean, it's not real. He showed me gates. Four gates spreading across Hawkins. And these gates, they looked like the one outside of Eddie's trailer, but they didn't stop growing. This was our Hawkins. Our home. Oh shit. Oh shit. That one is clock. It always chimes four times. So one more victim? Four exactly. I heard them too. Maybe. Maybe that's stupid. He's been telling us his plan this whole time. Four kills. Yeah, okay. Four yeah. gates. Yeah, that's what I was like. Hey, look at me. He's only one kill away. Mm-hmm. Yep. Jesus Christ. Try him again. Try him again. Right a few times in the busy signal. Maybe you placed it in a Oh, ow. Yeah. Your you friends you need you. Oh, and oh, I know you're going through a lot, but oh, my God. I'm so emotional. How's that possible? I told you Joyce has just telework her job. This phone's been busy for what? Three days now? It's not Joyce. Yeah. No way. Something's wrong. But Vecna can't hurt them. Not if he's dead. We have to go back in there. We're back to the upside down. Whoa, well, no, no, And no. do what? No, 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 let's think this through, okay? Yeah, you don't even have through. Murray in his karate! <laughs> We'll go through the gate, we'll find his lair, and we'll kill him. Or he'll kill us. The only sure. reason that you survived is because he wanted you to. We know Eleven's strengths and weaknesses. Weaknesses? When Elle remote travels, she goes into this sort of trance-like state. About the same is true of Vecna. But the army of bats. Right? True, we'll have to find a way past them. And uh, how do we do that exactly? No idea. But once they're gone, he doesn't stand a chance. We don't know when he's going to attack next. We don't even know who he's going to attack. Yeah, we do. I can still feel him. I'm still marked. Cursed. Oh, no, no, no. You're not bait. No, 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 no. Just no. Kate Bush. I trust the focus back to me. Uh, Vito. Vito this plan. Oh, God. I need to keep him busy long enough so that you guys can get into that attic. Okay, and can this is... Drop his head off. Whatever it is. Whatever you do. Try not to mess. Fuck. I mean, you're beautiful and brave, and I fucking love you. But like, I don't. I'm too, I don't like guys. I'm not okay. I don't like it. Not one bit. There you go. Very much depend on how you answer. Don't mm. it? Will you take us to America? Yes. Or no. He's not playing. <laughs> I love him. Is that a grenade? And how is any of this legal? Well, lucky for us it is. So this this place is <laughs> just doing nothing. If we're trying to avoid angry hicks, maybe we shouldn't go to some store called the war zone. That is no, a good yeah, point. Yeah. Red, uh, you got a ski mask or a bandana, something like that. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! 
my god. I love this. I love this. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Why do I love this so much? <laughs> Let's go team. I swore to myself I wouldn't wind up like he did, but now, yeah, now well. about the murder. <laughs> Neither are you. But if he has survived this long, we can only assume that he has grown in strength. <sighs> to underestimate him, then you're not ready. My friends need me. Yeah. I've stopped him once and I will again. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Ah! Hello, Mr. Positive. I don't understand what he's capable of. Well, maybe you're right. Or maybe you are overestimating it. This is not our choice. We agreed this was not going to be a prison. We'll show her what this is, what we can offer, and then it is her choice. Are you sure you want to do this? I love that he's being so supportive of her. Okay. Pack your things. Say your goodbyes. He does not look happy. Well, we are back and I am stressed out. It really didn't take long for me to really get all that stressed out, to be fair. Um, okay. Wow. Um, I, whew, where, where to begin? Um, really interesting. You know, it was so funny that everybody was um, trying to figure out how Nancy was going to get out of the situation that she was in. And, you know, uh, Vecna won Henry. Well, however you want to refer to him. Um, I'll probably keep saying Vecna, just so you know. Uh, we'll let her go. Let her go. Gave her some info. And, um, oh, did anybody else catch? Uh, maybe I misheard it. You guys can let me know if I misheard it. Did anybody else catch that they're like, or uh, Nancy was saying how Vecna showed her, uh, her sister, her brother, and her mom, like, uh, dying or in horrible pain, but not her dad. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, oh, really, really interesting. This idea of having four gates and it kind of bleeding into, uh, Hawkins, uh, the, the Hawkins that, uh, we mostly know. And, um, it's a really, really interesting, um, I need to say this. I need to say this. Uh, I I don't love the idea of Max being bait. Now, I get it. Um, especially, you know, um, she's living under this fear anyway, so you might as well take whatever shot you can, right? And, you know, I think on some level she really thinks that it's better to be her, right? You, and you know what I mean? Than, than, than somebody else. Um, at least there's a plan here. Um, and as we've seen with the previous three victims, they just sort of got targeted and, and hurt. Um, but that all being said, I don't like this plan. You know, I'm, I'm in the sense of, it's the only plan they got, okay? So I'm, I'm not trying to shit on it. It just makes me really nervous for Max. I'm very aware that throughout these last two episodes, it, it's very possible that we're gonna lose people. And I don't know how um, I'm gonna deal with that because Stranger Things, for me, has been so impeccable in, in so many ways, but their characters, the writing of their characters, the portrayal of the characters, everything is just the chemistry between them is so good. It's so good. And, you know, a lot of times when there's like some big group facing a threat in something that I'm watching, I typically can say in my head, like, you know what, if somebody has to go, I'd rather it be, and then fill in the blank. 
I don't have that here. Okay, with the, you know, with our, our squad. Um, so it's, just, it's hard. It's so hard because it's, I love this show so much and I am enjoying so much watching it. But I am just, I know that uh, there's a very high chance that somebody's not going to make it out alive and you know, I, I do feel very worried for Max, um, and I get why she wants to, to do it, and they're at least coming up with plans, you know, I, <clears throat> as much as <laughs> uh, they're, how did Murray say it, like, when uh, him and Joyce were on the plane, like, as, as well-intentioned as your kids are, they tend to you know, get themselves into into nefarious situations. He didn't say it exactly like that, but but they really do come up with what could be the best possible plan with what they have. You know, the the strength that they have, the information that they have, and um, so I love their little brave souls, but it still makes me nervous, right? And then you know, let it, we think about. Uh, I, I, I'm just worried. I, I guess that's that's the only way. Um, and and Eleven wants to go. Wants to go save them. She wants to go help. You know, it's not really towards it. But it was. It's an interesting conversation between uh, Brenner and and Owens. And you know, um, I love that Owens is there. Somebody needs to look out for her well-being. And I've said this in previous reactions. I absolutely believed and did prove to be, you know, true that Brenner is Eleven's best shot at um, Eleven getting her powers back. However, there's a lot of as much as it's stated that it's not a prison, I, I think he would keep her there by force if he wanted to. Um, and, I mean, we look at his track record and it's not the best, right? And, um, in the past, and his fascination with these things, uh, I think... It doesn't have Elle's best interest at heart. So Owens being there really makes me so very happy. And Paul Reiser is killing it in this. I mean, really. Because um, I like his his firm stance and care for Elle. You know, she doesn't have Hopper with her. Um, she doesn't have Joyce. So it's nice that there's somebody who is who is looking out for her in that sense. Um, but she wants to, listen, she may not be at the, the, the top of her potential. She might be, but, but, um, the point being her friends are about to face a lot and Max is about to dangle herself as bait. Eleven, I, I don't think it really is registering in her head whether or not she's strong enough. She knows she can help. She knows that she could possibly protect them, save them, buy them time, whatever it is, right? So that's the, that's the focus right now. She loves these people, loves them. Um, and that brings me to, okay, I couldn't, will, will I knew it. I knew it. I'm talking to the camera like it's Will, a fictional character, so, you know, it's a little bizarre. I knew you were going to get me with that fucking painting. I knew it. <laughs> oh, the layers of that whole conversation. And, um, oh my god, the way that Will was trying to reassure Mike. And I hate that Mike, you know, even, there's there's been a lot of characters this season sort of doubting themselves 
um, Eleven, Hopper, you know, the, the people doubting their importance and stuff, and, and I'm like, ugh, I mean, that was breaking my heart too. Will just tipped me over the edge, but the fact that he thinks that Eleven doesn't need him or, or he's just some random guy, I mean, there's a reason that all of these kids, all of these, you know, characters that we love, there's a reason, there's a lot of heart behind these people and it just, it was so beautifully put and the way that Will was able to speak from his own, his own um, perspective, his own feelings towards Mike, but through the lens of Eleven, it was just this kind of layered moment that was really, it got me. And, um, you know what else was getting me? I mean, it, the whole thing was, <sighs> Noah is such a fucking good actor. It drives me insane. But the other thing that got me was watching Jonathan hear Will, because you know that he's, he's kind of honed in on how his brother's doing. My favorite, and I, I love Jonathan in, in other <laughs> aspects as well, I'm not trying to say that, but my favorite moments with Jonathan are when he's with Will. They can make me cry, like I don't know, <laughs> like they are just so, he's such a wonderful older brother for Will. And you could see that he's looking back at his brother knowing that that was really hard for him. And Will being so beautifully selfless in the sense of, of sharing this and, you know, helping Mike see that he is important and to do it in a, in a way that, that was more related to Eleven when there's a lot of emotions buried. What did he say? Oh God, I'm, I'm forgetting the exact words, but you do sometimes when you're different, you feel like you're a mistake or something like that. And that just got me really bad. I mean, that scene was so well done, but really got me emotional. I, it's such a, beautiful way to kind of show the struggles that can come with coming to terms with who you are and letting people in. I, it just really got me. I, I, I don't know. Probably not making a lot of sense, but it, that was beautiful. And just, it was very emotional. So, and I knew it. I knew it. Will, with that painting, was looming over this season this whole time. Um, and then obviously, you know, I have to say, I hope that uh, Hopper and company, Joyce and company, um, but uh, I, I hope they, they get to America soon and everybody kind of all comes together to, to, towards the the end of the season for the final episode. I mean, it's, what is it, two and a half hours? It's, it's, there's a lot to cover, but, you know, at least there's a lot of time being given to it. Um, and obviously I have the second half of this episode as well, but I'm just saying, um, you know, maybe they'll they'll... <laughs> They'll hop over to America, the second half of this one, I'm not sure. But, um, I love seeing them together, though. I love seeing Hopper and Joyce have these beautiful moments together, even though they're kind of sh short-lived, and there's all, there's a few Demogorgons, you know? Isn't that great? Don't we love that? <laughs> God. Oh, my goodness. Murray being as iconic as always. We love, we love... 
Um, and then, you know, all of... Uh, but... Throughout all of that stress, we still have some, some lovely moments and... Um, you just see Hopper, he just lights up. He's just happier. You know, I, I hope that Hopper makes his way to Elle soon because I, I maintain this. I think she needs her father. Um, and I, you know, I think she needs her father, not Papa. The episode's called Papa, so I have a feeling we're going to hone in more on that, and um, I don't know if I'm ready for that. I really don't know if I'm ready for that because there's a lot of trauma there. There's a, there's just a lot, and I... Eleven is strong as hell and can handle a lot of shit on her own, but that doesn't mean that she doesn't need people like Mike or her friends or Hopper and... Um, you know, I do like that she has Owens looking out for her, but this is, you know, she needs some support. Everybody does in this show. Ugh, I'm already emotional. It's only been the first half of the episode, so off to a great start. All right, um, like I said, part two, you know, uh, gotta take some, some time to actually edit these, um, and uh, hopefully part two will be out ASAP. Um, try not to message me too much uh, yelling at me about where it is and all of that stuff, okay? Um, yeah, uh, if you would like to support me on Patreon or subscribe, I would really appreciate it, but if not, I'm just happy that you are here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time, bye.